Arguably the wildest game of the season for the Tin Caps at Parkview Field, but Fort Wayne falls short in its series opener against Bowling Green. Hot Rods take it 12-9. And it was the Hot Rods who raced out to a quick start, scoring three runs in the top of the first inning. The Tin Caps, though, chipped into the deficit. Brad Zunick had an RBI double in the second, and then Jack Sawinski in the bottom of the third inning with a blast to right center field. His third home run of the season and his first at Parkview Field. That brought the Tin Caps within a run at 3-2. They would tie the game in the bottom of the fifth inning, only to see the Hot Rods retake the lead with three in the top of the sixth inning, including on his two-run double for Lucius Fox, the first two of his three RBIs on the night. And this made it 6-3 Hot Rods. And the Tin Caps, though, they had a jab back. And the bottom of the sixth inning, Hudson Potts with an RBI single. And later in the inning, G.K. Young would come up, and Young would have the biggest home run of the night. Three home runs in this game, and Young's a moonshot out to right field. His second day in a row with a home run, and that three-run shot put the Tin Caps in front 7-6. to six. And what do you do after you hit a home run that far? Well, you take a selfie. At least a fake one. So the Tin Caps were all smiles at that point. They would score five runs in the bottom of the sixth inning and lead by a pair. However, the lead did not last long. Robbie Tenerowitz in the top of the seventh inning with a solo home run. That made it a one-run game. And the Tin Caps lead was 8-7. to seven. And the Hot Rods would continue to rally from there, wind up putting up a four spot in the top of the seventh inning. A key hit, a Garrett Whitley two-run single. Made it 10-8 hot rods, and Bowling Green would add some insurance in the ninth. And win a topsy-turvy game, a seesaw battle, 12-9. Both sides with 11 hits in this game. Every tin cap had at least one hit, including Jack Sawinski, who is tonight's Dar Financial Bank player of the game. Tin caps will try to bounce back tomorrow. And game two of this three-game series that starts at 11.05 at Parkview Fields.